I want to talk to you about Uber Eats for merchants. I mean, this is an opportunity that is just making people like millions of dollars. People are becoming millionaires. And this could be your opportunity also how to actually 17x your revenue for your restaurant, retail store or other establishment. OK, so this is a great opportunity. I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sorted Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about Uber Eats for merchants, okay? And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial here. How to actually uh, 17x revenue for your restaurant retail store or other establishments we have done research we have we have uh, helped clients we have seen how it's done and i want to share with you in today's conversation how you can do it too the first thing okay let's talk about the steps so there is a formula you need to follow if you want to be successful on uber eats as a merchant so number one you want to register so you need to become uh you can become a, a restaurant partner okay there is something called an interest form so you got to go to uber eats and you, gotta, you need to fill out the form, okay? So you need to, uh, it's called an interest form. You can see on the screen what it is. What it is. So basically, you want to give your name, your restaurant name and details, number of locations, and the estimated weekly to-go orders. Okay, this is kind of important. So number of locations, well, what, kind of, uh, what, kind of, um, what kind of food are you going to sell? And once you do that, just click Submit. All right. And you want to also click continue to finish the setup in case they want more information from you. What will happen here is that Uber Eats will contact you for more information before finalizing your application and onboarding. OK, so remember that they cannot partner with every restaurant that applies. So you, you really got to be very thorough here. And in terms of types of businesses, we're talking about restaurant, convenience stores, specialty food store, liquor store. If you're a florist, if you're a pharmacy, or you're in retail, that's totally fine. And if you want to complete the sign-up, you'll need to provide an updated copy of your menu for restaurants, your hours of operations, and a copy of your business or food license, okay? It is very important. So a valid license is uh, has to be issued by your local city, county, or state regulatory agency, okay? So I want to say that uh, this show will cover let's say up to 95% restaurants. But whenever necessary, I'll speak about what to do if you are, say, a pharmacy, a retail store, or a local store, and you want to onboard with, with uh, on Uber Eats. But this is really essentially about restaurants, okay? So I, I just want to reassure you, you can become an essentials partner on Uber Eats also. And in essential partners, it refers to... Uh, convenience stores, specialty food stores, local stores, florists, pharmacies, and retail stores, okay? And the one thing I, I want to say here is that overall, when we talk about um, going on Uber Eats, you still have the option to use your own delivery staff. Don't feel like you have to go with the Uber Eats. You no, know, they give you options. They give you the options. So you have flexibility in terms of using your own delivery staff or using Uber Eats. It's totally up to you. I want to talk to you about the criteria. Boss, are you there? Hello, anybody home? Okay, so there are specific criteria I want you to pay attention to, depending on the kind of establishments you want to register on the platform. Let's first start with the restaurants. So what will happen here is that after you submit your application, a team member from Uber Eats will uh, review that, that application and they will pay attention to a, a few requirements. Is your store within a geography currently available on the Uber Eats app? This is important. Is your store a licensed business that sells prepared food or essentials, convenience items? Is your store not already on the Uber Eats platform? So if you're looking to add an additional location to an existing partnership, please, you, please ensure that you input a new street address for your additional location on Uber Eats. Okay. And does your, your application include a copy of your menu or inventory? So 
a staff member at Uber Eats will actually look at those four criteria to make sure that you are complying with uh, their requirements. So it's very important to actually make sure that you have that. But if you have any questions, you want to call 1-833-ASK-EATS. So 1-833-ASK-EATS, E-A-T-S, okay? And you want to press 1 for restaurants, 2 for new restaurants, okay? And just talk to a sales, sales representative. It's very important. Now, there are, so one, one thing I want to say here is that criteria are fairly similar to other types of establishments. Specifically, if you are a liquor store, they want you to have a liquor license, okay? So remember that liquor, liquor licenses are usually uh, categorized by three factors. So you have the type of uh, alcoholic beverage sold, beer, wine, spirits, liquor. The venue where the alcoholic beverage is sold, are we talking about restaurants, nightclub, hotel, grocery store, etc.? The way that the alcoholic beverage is sold, packaged or poured, okay? And so this is really important. And, and uh, when we talk about the types of liquor stores, I mean, liquor, the, the types of liquor licenses, we're speaking about restaurant, all liquor, full liquor license, beer and wine liquor license, liquor store license, brewery license, tavern license, hotel license, club license, and eating place license. And the, the requirements are similar for pharmacies. So Uber Eats will want to ask you to provide your pharmacy license. So any kind of industry where you are regulated, either at the federal level or the state level, they will want to see your license. I want to talk to you about the menu. Boss, are you there? Okay, the menu is really important, and this part applies to restaurants only. As I've said before, this show applies 95% to restaurants who want to onboard on Uber Eats, okay? So let's talk about the menu. So one thing you need to understand is that there are things you can include in your menu, but there are things you cannot include, okay? There are, overall, they're very flexible in terms of what you can add to your menu, but there are a few things they want you to really remove, okay? So here are prohibited items. We have tobacco nutritional hemp, aerosols, regulated foods, CBD, any form, marijuana, any form, paraphernalia, herbal controlled substances, weapons, fireworks, live animals. Oh yeah, this kind of crazy. People add live animals on menu. That's crazy. But endangered species, gratuity items, okay? Alcohol, if not, if not in a, an eligible location. Again, if you have any question, you can call uh, 1-833-ASK-EATS, okay? It's important. Now, one, one thing I want to say here is that there are some requirements when submitting your menu to Uber Eats. Make sure that you have a correct and update menu. Don't you try to give them uh, your, your old-ass menu that you had uh, three years ago or five years ago. No, you want to update things, okay? And remember that submitted menu items must be legible and cannot be handwritten. Let me repeat that. Submitted menu items must be legible and cannot be handwritten. You need to type it. In addition to English, menus can be submitted and made available in French, Spanish, or Mandarin for non-English speakers. You can include special instructions, okay? It can be items to the left of the, the menu, prices for add-ons, flavors, descriptions, etc. And uh, you can include menu delivery hours, okay? And the item cannot be a prohibited menu. A, a prohibited menu item. I was giving you before the list of items that they don't like, okay? And uh, so you also need to make sure that your menu complete some kind of checklist. For example, does the menu contain both items and prices? Are there any items that should be removed from your menu? If so, which ones? Are there any items that should be added to your menu? If so, what are the items and their prices? What I'm trying to say here is you need to really be thorough here. And they want you to be thorough because they will be thorough also. Do you have any other instructions that Uber Eats should be aware of when creating your menu? Do all items have the correct listing? For example, does soda have flavors attached? Are there any prohibited items on your menu? Okay, and here is a nice to have. So Uber Eats recommends adding descriptions to your menu items to help customers choose their orders. Okay, so this is really important. But again, if you want to talk to someone over the phone, not a problem. You can contact a partnership manager at 1-833-ASK-EATS, okay? 
and uh, their hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, seven days a week, excluding business holidays. Now, let me give you a few pro tips here. A few pro tips. Make sure that you actually have a, a legit, a professionally designed menu, okay, with clear, specific menu. Ask yourself, would you order from your own menu? So that's the barometer to really know if you have some quality menu here, okay? So that's a pro tip I wanted to share with you. Let's talk about photography. Boss, I'm still talking to you about Uber Eats for a merchant, specifically for a restaurant, okay? And we want to talk about photography because it's important. I mean, everybody loves food, and food, you eat first with your eyes, right? And this is why you want to pay attention to what kind of photography you actually uh, submit to Uber Eats, okay? Now, remember that um, actually uh, your restaurant can schedule photography. In other words, you can upload your own Uber Eats menu photos through your menu maker. I'll speak about menu maker later on, but it's important. Now, there are a lot of things you can do with uh, photographies. I mean, with, the, with photos, you want to find natural lights. Angles are, every, are everything. Very important. Show what's inside. Okay. In case of burgers, sandwiches, wraps, and burritos, it can be helpful to uh, cut the item and stack the two halves so that the customer can see what's inside. You want to make it pop with color. You want to get it while it's hot and add your flair. Okay, remember, your style is part of what makes your restaurant special. So trying to capture the essence of your location by using a, a constellation of, uh, let's say, uh, surfaces, plateware, glassware, napkins, and silverware. It's totally up to you. Remember, the food is still the focus. Okay, so you can add menu photos in uh, in the menu maker. So you just have to sign on to a restaurant that Uber .com. You enter your, your your user ID and all that kind of stuff, and you can add. Okay, you can add. There's even something called a hero image. So the hero image is the image that shows up for eaters on the app when they see your restaurant. So please make sure that this is a high resolution image. Okay, that really. Uh, Elevate your restaurant's profile. Very important, okay? And you can actually uh, withdraw your photo for approval. And if you don't want, if you want to change uh, your your photo, that's totally fine, okay? You can also remove uh, a menu photo, and everything again happens in the menu maker, okay? And you can edit items, you can delete items, you can save, you can you can click done. It's totally up to you. So don't worry if you have the wrong, if you believe you have a wrong menu photo. You can replace it, you can remove it, you can withdraw, whatever it is, okay? Don't worry, but everything happens in the menu maker. I will talk about that later on. But one thing I wanna say here is that make sure that your photos are original. Don't try to steal somebody else's photo and uh, try to put it on uh, on the app. No, there are some serious intellectual property uh, implications here and we don't want that. Let me talk to you now about the menu maker. This is where the magic happens. If you wanna be successful on uh, Uber Eats as a restaurant, you wanna really understand the menu maker. This is important. Now, it is very easy, very straightforward, nothing complicated, okay? You don't have to, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, do anything big here. It's all about just following the rules, okay? And one thing I wanna see here is that with the menu maker, actually, uh, you have uh, advanced menu functionality. You have a lot of customization options. You can customize a lot of stuff. You can customize your, uh, your, uh, your servings. You can customize your menus, okay? You can design your business menu with Menu Maker. You can allow uh, customers to choose uh, different types of uh, different varieties in terms of your food. OK, you can uh, people can choose a combo meal. People can choose a single meal. People can customize things here and there. The possibilities are endless, really. And again, everything happens in the menu maker. One thing I want to say here also is that you uh, you need to understand if you don't follow the rules, your menu item will be removed. OK, and um, Uber Eats has strong restaurant community guidelines and they constantly monitor people who are violating their rules and they will remove your, uh, your 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 menu you don't want that okay and additionally future violation of uh, their guidelines could result in account deactivation you don't want that you want to you want to make money and that's what it is and uh, so in the menu maker in addition to uh, changing the menu you can also change your menu hours this is totally totally possible not a problem whether you're using uh, 
iPhone or Android uh, device or tablets or phone is totally possible. You can even uh, say that you are open also on holiday during holiday hours. This is totally possible. Okay. And uh, something that's very interesting also is that you can create kids menu. So the growth of kids menu sales on Uber Eats grew. Uh, it's fantastic. This growth is fantastic. Can you imagine that they have actually grown more than 200% in the last five years? So you want to build a, a kid a kids menu, okay? And again, it happens in the Uber Eats and the menu maker. Just make sure that you are, remember, when creating items for your kids menu, remember that the smaller portion size results in a smaller price. Kids are picky eaters, so stay within the theme of the cuisine, allow customization, and, and offer healthy options, okay? And kids menu should be created within the, in their own section after the main entrees, but before sides, desserts, the desserts and the beverages. Okay, so this is really good. So after you actually uh, create a, a kids menu, you can actually upload it. Okay, or you can just uh, send an email to restaurants. This is plural at uber.com. Restaurants at uber.com, and you want to include the following information: the restaurant name, the menu name, information that needs to be updated, the PDF or link to the new menu. A location they need a menu updates okay so this is totally very important so decision here we have to make a decision and about your menu are you going to go with uh, the regular way in other words you just have a menu for adults or are you going to diversify and have a, in addition to adult menu you also have a, I mean menu for adults you also have a menu for kids think about that I'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, box to another edition for the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still uh, talking to you about uh, Uber Eats for merchants, specifically for restaurants, and how do you actually uh, kick some ass on the platform. And now let's talk about marketing. There are a lot of opportunities to actually uh, make money on on uh, Uber Eats, and I've told you I've told you about uh, 17 x and you multiply your revenue by 17x. This is totally possible. People are becoming millionaires in this country. Okay. So we're talking about marketing here. On Uber Eats, you can do a sponsored listings. Okay. So basically, a sponsored listing is as Uber Eats allowing you to reach more customers to increase your restaurant's visibility by basically uh, promoting your uh, restaurants for you. Obviously, they're charging you something. Okay. And, you, and everything happens in the Uber Ads Manager. So this is a, this is a this is where you actually place your ads so that Uber Eats can make money off of you and you can make money also. Okay, so Uber Eats is a great way uh, to make money, but sponsor listings is really important. Now, when you create sponsor listings, pay attention to your SEOs, to your keywords. It's important. Okay, you also want to specify the audience, the budget, and you also want to uh, to make sure that you have a, a specific bid type. But again, everything happens in Uber Ads Manager. It's very, very as it's very, um, very simple. It's very use. It's very user friendly. So uh, that's that's one way to actually market your restaurants on um, on Uber Eats. You can also have marketing offers. Okay, so you can actually have uh, so marketing offers are pretty good because they allow you to actually promote your uh, business, your establishment alongside uber eats in other words uber eats is uh giving you the opportunity to use their logo to use their uh, their their platform to use their uh, branding to also elevate your own business's uh, profile okay now the thing here is that if you have any question it's always important to contact restaurants that's plural at uber.com okay now uber has uh, strong i would say uh, strong restrictions strong guidelines when it comes to marketing tools for merchants. And I'm gonna show you right now on the screen. So here are their instructions in terms of uh, CTA logo lockoffs. Okay, so adding a call to action next to the logo makes both their brand and message clear to customers. So they actually have, uh, they have uh, some logo lockoffs on the, on the screen right now. And here, are the, here is their instruction for the app icon and the web badge. 
okay if you have pre-made content for your social channels this is also good because you're able to contact people uh, via uber eats on your social channels you also have the uber eats bag and uh, here are the primary brand elements okay so this is really important and i'm just showing you some of uh, some of uh, their work mark and core colors And when we talk about promotion and we talk about promoting your uh, restaurants, there is something else I want you to pay attention to. That's virtual restaurants. OK, what is a virtual restaurant? Basically, you are basically uh, creating uh, your menu. You're innovating your menu while running out of an existing kitchen. So you don't have to have a restaurant. You don't have to have a, a location. You're basically doing things from home and you're selling, you're making money. OK, and uh, Uber Eats allow you, allows you to actually have uh, to serve a bigger audience with a virtual restaurant and you can create a virtual restaurant in Uber Eats. OK, one thing that's important is that you can actually to, to start the whole thing. You need to reach out to support at restaurants. That's plural at Uber Eats dot com. My fault. It's restaurants at Uber dot com. OK, and you want to be prepared for support to gather the following information, a copy of your virtual restaurants menu, information on the store hours for your virtual restaurants, menu photos, or if you don't have many photos, a few dates, you'll be available to have a smart shoot come and take some photos for your menu items. So smart shoot is an agency that work with the Uber Eats to actually uh, professionalize the whole thing and they will give you a uh, nice pictures. OK, and whether or not you would like to have POS integration. OK, and it's important to understand that uh, if you want to actually uh, there are some requirements, OK, and uh, you need to have at least seven main dishes. So your, your, your menu for the virtual restaurant should have at least seven main dishes. Menu items should have clear descriptions. You need to be an existing restaurant partner on the Uber Eats app to be eligible. In other words, you need to already uh, have been uh, vetted. OK, they must be they must know you a little bit before approving you. And one thing I want to say here is that if you want to uh, promote your restaurant even further, you want to you want to have a program whereby you have a self pickup in restaurant by customer because customers love it. They want to come to your restaurant and really, uh, you know, check things out, see the place, all that kind of stuff. You want to create a loyalty program. OK, or you can actually uh, create the, the you can get you can enter the Eats Pass program. OK, so Eats Pass is uh, an Uber Eats monthly subscription that offers customers exclusive merchants perks like, let's say, a zero delivery fee or five percent off order of totals above fifteen dollars. So this could be interesting for you. Or you can also get into uh, they have a, a partnership with Yelp. And this could be a great, great opportunity for you. Also, if you want to hear more about that Yelp partnership, just call 1-855-380-9357. Now, I want to talk to you about pricing here. Oh, yeah, this is important because we really want to talk about pricing and have a clear idea of uh, what we're talking about in terms of how much does it cost you, right? So in terms of pricing, you can see on the screen here, here is the pricing for Uber Eats. Okay, here are a few. I just want you to, th there are a few things. So using an Uber Eats delivery person, if you use your own delivery person, that's fine. But if you use the, an Uber Eats delivery person, you basically have to uh, incur a 30% marketplace fee on the pre-tax value of the order. Okay. If you use your own member is 15% marketplace fee on the pre-tax value of the order for pickup. Every pickup order has a 6% marketplace fee, 6%. Okay. And you can choose a plan that's right for you. So we have the light plan, we have the plus plan and we have the premium plan. It really depends on, uh, on the, what, what kind of uh, resources you have, what kind of budget you have. So on the last plan, you can keep costs low. On the plus plan, you can grow your sales. And on the premium plan, you can maximize your sales. It's totally up to you, okay? And But the bottom line here is that when you choose a pricing plan, make sure that the plan allows you to stand out from the crowd. Very important because it's all about boosting your, vis your visibility 
in the in the Uber apps app in, in the Uber Eats app. If you really think about it, he, this is a huge platform. You have a lot of competitors, and it's all about making sure that you stand out. And you can do so by adding uh, ads, promotions, loyalty programs, and whatnot. Okay, you can also have a, a self-delivery option. This is totally possible. The bottom line is that you can choose the pace at which you want to grow. You can grow your own way, or you can just uh, have a more aggressive growth strategy. It's totally up to you. The bottom line also is that there is contact. Okay, when we talk about pricing, you can always contact Uber Eats to ask more information. Okay, the number again is one eight three three Ask Eats. The number is one eight three three two seven five thirty two eighty seven, and and support is available twenty four seven. Okay, and the bottom line also is that when we talk about payments, you have to do a few things. You need to set up your bank account. Okay, so everything. Everything happens in Uber Eats Manager, okay? Once you log into your, your dashboard, you will see payments from the left-hand menu. And there you can scroll down to Bank Account Details and select Add. And fill out the bank, the required bank account information, account holder, the bank routing number, the bank account number. You need to re-enter the account number and you need to select your tax class, uh, classification if you have an EIN or you want to use your social security number in case you are a sole proprietor okay so and uh, you and everything else is just self uh, evident here and you can also update your bank account information after a while to make sure that uber eats has the most updated info about you okay and uh, did you have an uber service uh, fee and this is actually uh, remember uber is giving you a, a platform to connect with potential customers and uh, so they're just taking a fee okay so this fee is the fee Uber charges restaurants to help cover costs, including uh, without limitation, credit card fees, support, and much more. So this is totally decent, okay? But you, I want you to really pay attention to that when you think about your overall pricing, your overall cost on uh, Uber. Thank you so much, boss, for your attention to this conversation. I was talking to you about Uber Eats for merchants, and I was giving you a step-by-step. -step. How do you actually... Uh, 17x your revenue for your restaurant a retail store or other establishment first you want to register number two you want to understand the criteria number three you want to take care of your, of your menu number four you need to take care of photography number five let's be very serious about the menu maker okay you need to understand how to use it it's very simple though number six you want to uh, take care of marketing and number seven you want to uh, understand the pricing you have on uh, Uber Eats. Thank you so much for your attention. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.